Hey guys, how you doing? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Uh, in Cupid's Corner, we have this segment that we do for you guys uh, because we want to make sure that your guys' relationship is flourishing. Uh, it's taking it to the next level, a good level, progressing, because everything in life, you want to have progression, you want to go into a positive way. Right. right. And there's a lot of people that lose their way in their relationships, and they go through problems and issues, and sometimes they just don't know how to get back on track. Mm -hmm. So me and Sharice always put together some great tips and tricks to help you guys get back on track, maybe reignite that flame, and flourish the relationship to a better, prosperous relationship for both of you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Because... It takes two to tango, right? Always. Always I takes mean, two to tango. I mean, you could probably tango by yourself, but it's not fun. Uh, yeah, and you probably get a little bored or then you're feeling <laughs> a little distant or a little ignored if it, uh, it's only one person. So. Well, you also want to make sure, too, because once you don't communicate, then you might start growing separately. Yes. And once you get so far down the yellow brick road, yes. you know, then you meet, uh, what is it, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Yeah, you know, you don't basically want to grow apart. All right. You want to grow together and not apart. So we've came up with a couple different things that you guys can talk about as couples that should definitely bring you guys closer together. So let's talk about some of these different things that you guys can talk about that maybe will reignite the relationship or bring back great memories. And speaking of memories, the first one is reminiscing about great vivid memories good ones all right good positive memories positive. that you had in your relationship so we always like to give an example of some of the things mm -hmm. that you know we bring up because it's real life scenarios that me and sharice have went through um that have got us here and these are some of the things that we do so when we're talking about vivid memories you know you're like <laughs> what's a vivid memory you know i can have nightmares and they're vivid right but no you want a positive memory so for us we were just talking about it i think last week Usually, Sharice, we always go on her little birthday vacation, okay? We usually go to like a Caribbean island or something really cool that we can just spend our time together, alone, bond, and she can have a fun time for her birthday and just celebrate. Mm -hmm. So one year we went to Cabo, mm -hmm. and in Cabo we had an amazing trip. So we were reminiscing about that trip because it came up in Facebook memories. Yep. So we were looking at it, we're like, man, that was probably the best trip we've ever been on. You know, we had we had a private chef. We had this great house. You know, the weather was perfect. You know, the people we had with us were perfect. Yeah, it was a good trip. It, it was just it was it was Fun. a great trip. And you know, reminiscing about that trip and some of the things that we did, like we went four wheeling, which was really cool. She was all scared about the four wheeling. <laughs> well, John was driving all quick, and I just kept telling him in the back of his ear because you know I'm on the back. I'm like, you better not kill us because we have a kid at home. We have to go back to Peter, yeah. and he's like, will you just be quiet yes. or get on your own four wheel? Yes. I'm like, I don't want to get on my own four-wheeler. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I have to bring this up because this is a really good one, right? So, obviously, Cabo was amazing, right? Yep. And all vacations are awesome. But vivid memories is, you know, maybe something that sticks with you forever and ever and ever, right? Long-lasting. Um, one of my vivid memories, and it'll always stick with me, and it'll always stick with him, too. Watch uh -oh. watch the face when I bring it up, because we don't we don't pre-plan half of this when we do talk to you guys. We come up with these topics, and then there's a lot of times I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to bring this up. So here I am bringing it up. Organic. Organic. You got to love organic. And not right. everything should be planned out. So how about when me and John first got together in Gasparilla? Ooh, I remember that one, too. <laughs> it's so vivid because he had to, you know... It's very vivid on many, many levels because, A, okay, it was Gasparilla, and those of you who don't know, it's like a huge parade that every year, that blah, 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 whatever, okay. So it's a great parade. It's every year that they, they have the ships come in, and everybody goes. It's, like, huge. It's, it's like a huge a tradition It's here like a Tampa. Mardi Gras for Tampa, huge Florida, tradition. Huge right? Tradition. And um, they got all the boats to put together and all this fun stuff. Now, this is when me and John very, very first met, right? So <laughs> it was vivid, good, vivid, bad, but it ended up good regardless. <laughs> because listen, listen, hear me out now. So where I'm on this boat and I'm waiting for him, right? And he's, you know, blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks away. And I'm on the phone like, hey, where are you? Like, are you going to even come hang out with me? Do you want to hang out with me? And he's like, I am trying to fight through like literally thousands of people to come and see you. So he did. He had to walk. How far was it? 
I didn't even know how far. <laughs> it had to be at least how a couple of miles. It? And it was two a couple. Miles I mean, least. it was a couple miles. Who, who cares? But right? it was through all the people. That was the big problem. It wasn't just walking there. It was literally there's but, thousands. I mean, of obviously, I'm on the other line. Like, okay, so how many people are you stopping to talk to? You know, before you come get me, like come hang out with me. By the time you get over here, the Gasparilla is gonna be over, and this is just you know this this is just I'm so upset. So you know that's me. Of course, I'm like 21 years old, so you know don't judge me. And this is a very long time ago. So, anyways, he makes his way. Long story short, makes his way all the way after this long trip, right? And I'm on this boat with, you know, I was at the time I was, you know, doing my little side gig with Coors Light, you know, and I had my, um, what was it, the brand ambassador thing, whatever, you know. And um, I'm on this boat with a bunch of girls and, you know, he finally shows up and I'm like, I'm so excited at this point because I mean, he finally showed up. And this is kind of like the point where we're kind of talking, you know, we weren't dating you know, this is the did this is the day we did tie the knot on the yeah, day. Yeah, it was that night. It was, yeah. it was, it was that night, right? Yeah, yeah. See, and it makes us smile when we talk about this yeah. because it's it was a good memory, right? Yeah. So, you know, he gets over there and there's this, you know, like a bar, like because it was a Tampa General Hospital is what it's called, yeah. and he's over there with his friend because he brought a friend with him, and there is water between us, like to be able to get together. So, how is John at this point? You know, because there's a big bar right here. There's no nothing, no like little bridge that's going to bring him over. <laughs> and I don't think we actually thought this through properly. Before. I didn't exactly know the layout. <laughs> okay. I, I thought it was coming over there. She's going to be on the boat. It was going to be close. Like, you know, you can walk down to the dock type deal. I was in the middle of the, the thing. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, at that point, he was going to have to swim, you know, but that would be terrible because. <laughs> He's fully anyway, dressed. I ain't swimming nowhere. He's fully dressed. So you want to tell him how you made it over? So basically, listen, by, by Tampa General Hospital, anybody knows this Tampa. Is, this there's is this, godsend. There's this, there's this huge, like, a huge, godsend. Like, like, not it's not a gate, but, you know, there's these bars, basically, so people don't can't fall in the water or anything like that. So I had to go over the bars. Well, when I first started doing it, one of the security <laughs> guards at TGH told me I couldn't. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to get down there. I'm like, oh, my God, situation. he made it all the way over here, and he's not going to be able to hang out with me. So he finally's like, all right, go ahead. So I go over the bar now. All right, how am I going to get out into the water? Well, <laughs> luckily, it just, it just, you know, God works in mysterious ways, See, it was right? meant to be. So at that point, there was this little dude, and he had this tugboat. <laughs> It was literally like maybe a two or three person tugboat. <laughs> and I'm like, listen, man, I'll pay you like 20 bucks. Just take me like right over there. It was literally. So for him, he was like, oh, okay, no problem. Get on in. So we literally got in this tugboat and they took us across, you know, all over there. And that's, you know, how I finally got on the, the boat. It was just crazy how it happened, but it all worked out. You know, it always usually does. You know, I believe that God has a plan. And if you follow that plan or you do it to your best ability, then things are usually going to work out in your best way. You know, it is what it is. So that was just one thing. That's you know? a good memory. That, that it's, are, a, it's a vivid, good memory. We bring, I bring it up because, you know, it was, I mean, obviously that's the day that we, you know, tied the knot on our, you know, yeah. that night. Yeah. Later know? on that night. Yeah. Later, later on that night. Right. Where after we get back, cause it's, it's a pain in the butt, even to leaving get Gasparilla, out of right? there. Oh my goodness. So we went, we went back <laughs> We finally got back and she, we had one of her girlfriends in the car with us at the time. And the girlfriend's like, you know. No, this is in the garage, in her garage. It was there in the car. Yeah. Right? So at that <laughs> point, she's like, are you guys going out? Are you guys dating? Kind of put us like right on the spot. I know, you know? I'm in front of each other. And then and we like, kind of like looked at each other like, yeah. I yeah, mean, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, that's the that's story. It's <laughs> and then, you out. know, what is it, 12 years later? Yeah. We're Married, soulmates, kids. You know, business. You know, I mean, this is that's pretty That was crazy. so random. It, it, was, it was definitely a good story. <laughs> we definitely got some good stories. Good you stories. Know? Like, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do, too. I mean, yeah. you guys, if you guys have been together for X period of time, yeah. I'm sure you guys have had some good stories that Absolutely. you guys can bring up to each other. Like, hey, remember that one time? You know, yeah. it's, it's just nice to bring it up, you know, and... <laughs> it's good to the reminisce. Good times. Yeah, it's good to remember the. That's an old saying, right? Remember the good times. Right. You know, and, and just don't. If there are some bad things that happen, just don't focus on the negative things. There were good things, hopefully, in the relationship, and you guys have some great vivid memories. Or you guys, if you don't, you guys need to make some. Yeah, go and make And that some. will bring you closer together. So, I mean, usually the couples usually do. You know, they have some good ones, but you know, over time, some people lose 
lose track of those good memories or they don't make new memories mm -hmm. you know that they can they can reminisce about and laugh about and have a good time about thinking about it so at that point make sure that you guys are making great memories together vivid memories that are positive if you guys have negative things going on try to create some vivid positive memories for the future that way if you ever get in that situation ever again you guys can look back on the good times and laugh about it instead of just focusing on bad things okay mm -hmm. that's i think people lose track of that all the time so it, it's really important it's definitely really important. Gasparilla story, I love it. <laughs> <Gasparilla>. <laughs> All right, so the next thing, I mean, we might as well talk about it. We'll combine it with two. So it's dealing with their problems. So if you have problems, you know, your partner is like your sidekick. So if you have problems, and this goes for like professional per se. So if you guys don't work together, like me and Charisse, we work together all the time. So we can always bounce things off of each other. Now, if you're not working with the city of the other and you have a professional job and something's happening there and you might need some input, it's always a good thing to go back to your, your sidekick or your partner and be like, hey, listen, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. They might give you some insight that you've never even thought of before. You know, and it might just be like, that, that light bulb goes off, wow, you know, because there's definitely been times before in Titan, you know, when I was working, doing other jobs, mm -hmm. um, and I'd come back to Sharice and she would definitely, you know, it's it's different thinking people think in different ways and come up with different answers or think about different solutions so that's that's kind of where it comes into play where listen you, you need to bounce it off your partner maybe and they might give you an answer that you didn't even think of or weren't even going to come up with yourself mm -hmm. and it might be a really good solution to whatever problem you have professionally you know if it's a relationship obviously you want to share those feelings with your partner uh, if you feel neglected or you don't feel some type of weight, they're not mind readers, <laughs> right? So your partners, you know, they might know you very well or might know what you're thinking some of the time, but sometimes they might not. And you might feel some type of way, and at that point, they don't even know what's going on or why you're mad at them. Mm -hmm. And until they're like, hey, are you mad at me? I'm like, of course I'm mad at you. <laughs> that, you have to ask that. that you have to ask that. Do you, 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 you don't you know, know me did? right now? You, you, know, you know how upset you made me? Like, <laughs> Like this. I didn't mean to make you upset like that. You know, it is what it is, and you kind of talk about it and get over it. So you got to talk about it, though. Like you, you can't talk about it. You know, I I am notorious. Whatever, I am notorious for doing the whole bottle up thing. Now I've gotten better at it, right? Because I used to do the bottle up thing and bottle it up for like days and days, maybe even weeks at a time. And it would just bottle up, bottle up, bottle up. And then something like really, really stupid would happen. Like, you know, it would be totally off the record and just something really dumb. It would be like something like you poured me like a quarter cup instead of a half cup and I'd freak out. And he would be like, what is your, like, do you need medication or something? <laughs> like, are you bipolar? <laughs> And, you know, it's because I would bottle it up. So I still do the, like, the bottle up thing probably just maybe hours now. You know, a few hours might go by and I do the bottle up thing maybe a day. I've gotten better at it. But you, you do. You have to communicate how you're feeling and if, if something has upset you or has made you, you know, has hurt your feelings or has, you know, made you feel some type of way, like John was saying, you know, you're gonna have to express that to them or they're not gonna know, you know? And if you don't feel like you can talk to them about it, that's a whole nother problem on its own. And honestly, sharing your feelings can go both ways. Whether you're feeling really good about something, you're giving a positive affirmation of something. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't always have to be negative. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be positive and people don't hear positive responses from me. So they might not think, well, you know, nothing I ever do is good enough. I just told John this all right? day. Nothing I would do is good this enough. Up. I give you credit all the time. So at that point, like, you know, yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, it, it, this, this is where it comes down. If somebody ever says that to you, and this is what I told Sharice, I said, listen. <laughs> Real it's, life. It's not that nothing's ever good enough, but if something is wrong, right. I'm going to tell you about it. Right. Because if you don't tell them about it, then you're going to start bottling up. It's going to cause you to feel some type of way about the situation or person or thing that went on or whatever it is, and it's gonna create probably a negative result. But, for you but it'd be nice to balance it. But, so the balancing, okay, <laughs> let's just say, the, the, let's just say that there was this nice job that was done by whatever, it's something you did, it worked out well, and it turned out nice. But there was one thing that was wrong with it, right? So then combine it in like, in, in, in a combined sentence. Everything looks good, but. but 
<laughs> versus skipping over the everything looks good part, okay? Going to the butt part, which is the negative part, and then saying like, oh yeah, but I mean, everything looks good. It just kind of like, it kind of takes away the good, you know? So listen, honestly, everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody has different ways of communicating with each other. Some people communicate different than others. Like me and John, we have our own way of communicating with each other. And we're not perfect either, you know? Mm -hmm. We're not perfect not either. Perfect. All the way up to now, right this second, 12 years later. I mean, I love him to death. I'm not gonna, I told him, you're either gonna be with me or 10 feet under. So it doesn't matter, you're not going anywhere. I so. disappear, you guys know. It's like Carol Baskin. <laughs> Watch out, I don't want to be fed to the tigers or uh, buried in the backyard. I know, listen, me and all my girlfriends, we have a secret spot for him. We're, We're going to try to cook him. me up like cannibals. Watch out. <laughs> He'd be good, though. He's very oh, meaty. No. He's very meaty. No meat. fat, it won't be tasty at all, I promise. <laughs> So, you know, everybody has their own way of communicating with each other. So you just have to you have to know your partner good enough to be able to not press buttons on them that's going to make them upset and then maybe cool down to let the other person do what they need to do as vent or vice versa. You know, because if you're both venting at the same time, it never turns out good. Yeah. So you got to one's got to even out the other. So yeah. you got to you had just needs to be able to work with each other on that. Yeah. Me and John have mastered that. And to this day, we still, you know, we might have an argument about something. It's not everything is not everything is going to be perfect. Yeah. I don't ever think everything is going to be perfect. But can we always fix it, make it right, do better, do better, right? Do better. So just try. Be better good. and not bitter. Yeah. Hey, we saw that the other day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, these are just some of the tips and tricks that me and Sharice have, have encountered or developed or used, right, to enhance our relationship uh, to a better place because nothing's perfect. So you just got to keep working on it. Yeah. It's just like a job. You got to put in that time, put in that hard work and effort, and you guys will get usually something really good out of it. Mm -hmm. So this has been another Cupid's Corner on Sunday. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Yep. Thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday every at 11. Every Sunday, 11. Yeah, 11 a.m. You guys can catch us on ABC or on Facebook. Go to the Type Medical Center page. You guys can see the show there, too, as well. Or any of these different segments that you might see. All right, guys. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are out. See ya. Mwah.